My name is Sarah Salzberg, and I teach Old Testament theology to the juniors at Orange Lutheran. I get to teach theology, and my goal is to get students to be engaged in the Word. To, um, For me, yes, I love that they get to open a Bible. My Bible's always right here. It's very well worn. Um, my goal is that they would get to open a Bible. Um, but for me, being engaged in the Word is far more about asking questions and, and wondering. And uh, we have this gift that our God gave us, which is not just that he gave us the word, but he told us to chew on it. And meditating on it means we don't have all the answers. And I don't think we're gonna get them all. And there's a great permission in getting to tell our students, your questions are valid, your questions are wanted, and there's not a single question that scares the God of the universe. And so it, it doesn't scare me either. Uh, they get a little frustrated when I say, I might not have an answer. Uh, but for me, the beauty is, after having taught 16 years, I have, I have a lot more answers than I had my first year. I do think there's a great comfort to them that in 16 years of going through this, I have uncovered a little bit more uh, and maybe even far greater comfort that I haven't uncovered everything. And it doesn't change my faith and it doesn't change uh, the fact that our God is who he is. Uh, and yet, it deepens my relationship with him and me understanding him. So uh, I guess for me, the most exciting thing that I have in my room is a bunch of Bibles. Uh, and they're always around all my desks, uh, which is fantastic uh, to just watch them digging in and understanding it. One of the things that gets me so excited about teaching as long as I have, and honestly having teaching partners that I've had for as long as I have, uh, is just the opportunity to learn more and understand uh, better ways to get our students to be interested and in asking questions. Um, and one of those things has been just kind of discovering this idea that scripture has these themes that kind of play out. And I described it to my students like um, when you're listening to a movie score and every one of the characters or, or different kind of um, ideas in the movie have different themes. I'm not even a musician. I don't know why I use this example, um, but the, I, I'm, a, I'm a music enthusiast. Uh, but the idea that a, a character will have kind of an under, underscoring theme and they'll get ramped up at certain uh, scenes and that kind of helps you to see what this is really about and so scripture starts playing these themes and our students read Genesis 1 to 3 far more than they would like and, and to start elevating them in other parts of scripture to see kind of what is really happening in the story and, and so because of that our students get really into uh, getting to see these themes and visually when you're reading just words on a page it doesn't really do anything uh, but if you give them kind of this visual of I know it just said tree but imagine what that's like um, or it says Sabbath or it says the number seven which doesn't really mean anything, but if you have an understanding of this theme, it really does move you. And so I have kind of things around the room to remind us of those uh, those visuals that are connected to the themes. So, so just kind of having this visual so that if they see the number seven or this concept of rest in a story, I can easily kind of point them to, okay, what does that mean? It's not just there for kicks and giggles, like God is doing something through that and trying to communicate, you know, how God brings about a new creation and the seventh day rest and the hope that we have. I am so grateful to teach at a school where we not only have the opportunity to teach theology, but that we require it. Uh, I'm sure that rings kind of hard in some people's ears that we require them to take theology class, but I welcome that not every student comes to Orange Lutheran because it's a Christian school. And yet we know how important it is for them to encounter the God of the universe as he reveals himself to humanity. And so they sit in my class and I get to have students who are asking questions for a variety of reasons. Some of them are asking questions because they don't believe this. And there are those who are asking questions because they desperately want to. Others are asking questions because they have had this faith that has been fanned in their hearts and they want to know more and more and more. And the beauty is that our God meets each and every single one of those students. And I am so grateful that he has asked me to be a vessel of that. I am humbled. I pray daily that I don't screw it up. Um, but I'm grateful that every student sitting here gets to ask about who this God is and we know who he is in Christ. And I get to show them how even the Old Testament is all about that.